It's the 10th of October 2020 and I'm here in Innsbruck in Austria. Tonight I'll be traveling by nightjet to Düsseldorf in Germany in a sleeper car and hopefully this time they won't downgrade me. Thank you for watching and joining me on this trip. Let's begin our journey. About that downgrade, on my previous trip with the nightjet from Vienna to Milan, I booked a sleeper but ended up in the couchette due to technical issues with the sleeper car. Yeah, the night jet trains aren't the newest anymore. Most of them are between 15 to 30 years old, with some of the couchette cars even reaching the age of 60 year old soon. But new trains are coming soon. Well, let's get back to Innsbruck. It's a beautiful city surrounded by high mountaintops on both sides, so you can imagine the spectacular view you get from here. The city even has a funicular that transports commuters from the high up neighborhoods to the city center. From here you have a clear view of Innsbruck main station, where our train will depart from tonight. Of course we could take the funicular down the hill, but nah, let's go with the bus because it's way cheaper. My friends, the night has arrived and let's head inside the train station. Most major railway stations in Austria will have a few restaurants for a quick meal and a supermarket to stock up on supplies. Sleeper car and first class passengers are invited to the OBB lounge to wait for their train in comfort. The lounge in Innsbruck was quite small and crowded so here are some footage from the lounge in Vienna. Snacks and drinks are free as well as for the Wi-Fi. One thing you should know is that night trains usually consist of different parts with different destinations. As you might have figured it out already, we will be travelling together with the part to Hamburg. You might be wondering what the rules are regarding face mask on board of the night jet. You have to wear one in public areas, but you don't need one if you are in your own cabin. So, welcome aboard the sleeper cabin. If you are familiar with the tiny house concept, you might love it to spend the night here with 3 people in total. But really, this is far beyond the level of coziness. Sleeper cabins and the deluxe variant can be booked as triple, double or solo occupancy. If you select triple while your party consists of just you alone, you might have to share it with strangers of the same gender. Go for solo if you want to have the whole cabin to yourself. The only difference between the regular sleeper and the deluxe is that the deluxe has an ensuite shower and toilet. All sleeper passengers will get a goodie bag containing slippers, towel, earplugs, pen, sweet and savory snacks and bottles of water in plain and wine flavor. This on the other hand is very tasty though. If you are in the mood for hot cuisine, you can also order microwave food, sandwiches, snacks or drinks with your steward. Breakfast is included in the fare and you simply order the items you want to have the night before. Now on to the cabin itself. You'll find this old style hotel keycard to open up the door from the outside. Inside you can lock yourself with two different locks. And now over to the most important feature of the cabin. The power socket. Yes, you heard that correctly. One power socket for three passengers. Just joking, there's one more here. Above the door you'll find buttons to adjust the light, climate control and volume for the announcements. Also, extra storage space up here besides under the bed. All three beds are stowed away in a wall here and if you are wondering how to convert the seats into beds, it's fairly simple to do it yourself. But you can also summon the steward with this handy button and they will do it for you. So, first time showering in the train because the sleeper has a public shower. Or maybe shared shower is the better word choice. Anyway, here's a little tour of the bathroom. There's a wash basin, toilet, and of course the shower, including an all-in-one shower and shampoo gel dispenser. You can use the towel from the goodie bag, but it's quite small, so you might want to bring your own one. So, how is the water pressure? It's fantastic as you can see. No really. It's decent and the water is nicely hot too. It's even better than what you can get in the deluxe sleeper cabin. The water stays on for roughly 25 seconds, but there's no limit on how many times you can turn the water back on until you waste the whole water tank. And no, that is not dirt, it's the train showing its age. After the shower, it appears we have already arrived in Germany. 
it is time to sit back and relax. So, how's the sleeper so far? Pretty good. Uh, it is really tight. This is a very small room, very small compartment, if I want to use the correct term. But it is a really an amazing and special experience. Especially the, the shower, I don't know. It, it was like that you could be showering on board of a moving train. It's, the idea is just crazy. but. I feel so refreshed and my bed is made up and yeah, I'm ready to sleep. One more comment about this bed, it is a really a decent comfortable bed. This is so much better than a couchette. I would say it's not the perfect bed, it's not like you once you'll see at hotels, but it's a very good one, a very firm one, and it's so comfortable, I think I will sleep very well tonight. Good night everyone. So, good morning. I slept really, really well on this bed. I did woke up two times, but I think it's still common to wake up because it's a moving train after all. But other than that, it was a perfect night. Time for breakfast. It isn't anything special, but the quality is quite decent. I especially like the Austrian butter and the bread rolls were fresh and crispy. I would say a good start of the day. No need to set an alarm for this by the way, as the steward will wake you up for breakfast around one hour before arrival time. And we have arrived in Dusseldorf. Good thing to know is that in 2021 this train will continue to Amsterdam reintroducing night trains in the Netherlands. Now let's recap the journey with the night jet while we travel back home. The sleeper cabin is definitely a big plus on long train rides. Comfortable bed, great stuff, a nice shower and a decent breakfast. Go for deluxe if you prefer a private shower and toilet for a little bit extra money. Otherwise the regular sleeper will cost you 144 euros in combination with the interrail pass. It's quite hefty yeah. Without the pass the price starts from 159 euros for solo occupancy. It gets more affordable if you travel in groups of 2 or 3 together for the sleeper. And there's also the budget option for the couchette or seat to travel in. So do I recommend the sleeper cabin with the night jet? Product wise absolutely a yes. Price wise? Try travel with someone else so you can go for the double occupancy and lower the price a little bit. The couchette is also fine if you are on a budget but never go for the seat. Thank you for watching and coming along on the trip with the night jet. Take care and we will see each other in the next video.